So, a little while ago, someone asked me, well, a lot of people asked me to try a lot of different games, uh, after I did the Sunshine video for the, uh, Gamepad Digital Win, GPD Win, uh, specifically GameCube games, but one person asked if, uh, Sonic Heroes would run. Now, I didn't actually bother going ahead and testing if Sonic Heroes on GameCube would run, uh, because Sonic Heroes was actually a multi-platform release, including the, uh, the home computer, PC. So, it does run, but there's a problem with it, uh, and this exists with a lot of other older games. Uh, first off, and I just remembered I forgot to change this, uh, this is the controller setting thing, and you need to use direct input, uh, which is the left side of the switch. And, uh, I, th I think you can change it in-game. Like, this is changing what it physically thinks the buttons are, and then in-game, there's an actual, like, in-game thing. So there's, like, two different settings, uh, but I've been using this one. And, uh... Basically, I think what this is, is, uh, Y is 1, B is 2, A is 3, and X is 4. So what I want to do is set the attack button to 4. The one that's 4 to 1, I think. And then you're, you're just going to have to figure this out for yourself. Or try the in-game one. Uh, now, here's uh, the real problem, and I'll show you really quickly. Uh, it only goes up to 800 by 600. You can't change that in the actual settings file. It's, uh, it's like, hard-coded, and I checked. Uh, and because of the way the GPD win is, uh, if you try to go to full screen, this is one of those games that does the weird sideways thing, because for anyone who's not aware, the default orientation of this, uh, also there's no easy way to quit the game, you just sort of have to, like, do that and then confirm it. Uh, but you can get the game in sort of a pseudo three, uh, full screen, and, uh, I'm gonna show you that now, and it's really convoluted for what it is, to be honest. Uh, also I found the game is better in, uh, it's a little bit laggy occasionally at 60 frames per second, so I have it set to 30 frames per second, everything else is on high. I think that has to do with old architectures and running an old version of DirectX. It's not as optimized, but on 30 frames per second there's no problems with this game uh, on the GPD win. So what I want to do is set it to windowed mode and have it set at 800 by 600 and then start the game and you'll see that it's in a window and actually it already applied uh, let me see if I can I don't know if I can bring that out uh, there's a program that'll be in the uh, in the description of this video called uh, it's basically, it makes windows borderless, which is what's happening here. So, if I were to click add window through that, or F3, I was having troubles with F3, but basically you click that, then you click on the window, and eventually it'll respawn. This game doesn't like to do it, and it'll go into this. Uh, but once that happens, you can open up the menu... And, uh, you have to have direct input set before the game starts. I think I can switch it over for the mouse and go back and it won't be a problem, it'll still work. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that just in case, so you right-click on the graphic options, or hold in your finger for a second. 
Uh, and then you go to graphics options, property, I'm going to switch to the mouse, I think it's fine, we'll find out together. Also, uh, if anyone who hasn't noticed, there's this thing where if you're too impatient, the mouse will just start trying to escape when you switch over. You have to go to, or uh, I guess you can left click, you click on it, left click, or right click, graphics options, go down to resolution, and go to 800 by 600. And then just, you know, click on the window and switch the thing back. If you do this beforehand, for whatever reason, I guess because you're already in that resolution screen, the game's like, oh, you don't have enough room for this window, you're not allowed to start it at that resolution. You have to start the game first, then lower your system's resolution. But the end result looks something like this. So, Sonic Heroes is 100% playable on the, uh, okay. the GPG win. Hopefully I reconfigured those controls properly. Oh, I had the... Sorry, it's a little off center. I don't really have a camera, I just have a phone with a camera. Uh... Unless I'm lazy, I'll probably include a little bit of footage captured from the HDMI port. Uh, that way it doesn't lag at all. To show you better up close of this, I'm not going to play for the rest of the cutscene. Uh, but it works. It'll be a little bit laggy for loading for me, because I put on the SD card. Uh, now normally this game installs off two discs, and then, uh requires, I think, the second disk in to keep working. Uh, so you either need to create an image of the disk and have that mounted, or I believe there's a patch out there that makes it, uh, makes it not need the disk. And it, it looks like it froze, it didn't, it's just a result of the SD card. Okay, I did that right. Let's see if I can play like this, though. You'll notice sometimes the voices are taking a little bit. That's just because I have it on the SD card. That seems to be the only, uh... I mean, I haven't really played through it. I've played through, like, the first level and then stopped right before completing it. For whatever reason. But, uh, from what I saw, the only problem with it being on the SD card is, uh, the audio thing. It, that might also be where the lag is coming from, but I'm pretty sure it just loads everything at the start, to be honest, for the most part. And it it's clearly only happens when there's a lot of enemies on screen. Uh, but feel free to try it in 60 frames. I, I'm confusing myself with the controls. I have no idea why Sonic didn't switch. I know why that happened. This is what happens when you try to play a game with messed up controls, get used to the messed up controls, and then fix them. You, you wind up just confusing yourself anyway. Tails, I get it. You're okay. Uh, I want to at least go until the part with a bunch of uh, enemies. Uh, I need Tails. That's not Tails, this is Tails.
Uh, but yeah, it's never... The lag in this game is smooth lag. When it does happen. So it's not choppy, but it's slow motion. Is what it is. Because this is all locked frames. So, uh... You can't just have it set to 60 and just assume it'll run at 40 sometimes. See, over here, it was lagging at, a uh, at 60 for me. See, it's even a little slow at 30. Again, maybe this is from being on the SD card. Uh, I think it's just because of old hardware differences. Uh, but for the most part, it runs fine, probably better than whatever the, uh, emulator was gonna do. You know, I changed my mind, I think. Uh, unless you already saw it, there's probably not gonna be, uh, direct capture. Because you guys can see what's going on here. See, here, completely noticeable. I think there's a little lag, it feels like, but nothing, nothing too noticeable. So, uh, I'd say it's playable, the biggest issue being the whole setup to actually get it in a decent screen size. Uh, I've also tested a bunch of other games. Uh, for the GameCube, Wind Waker works fine, uh, Melee works well enough, at least with, uh, one versus one. Uh, three people's kind of okay, four people usually is just garbage. I forget what all the different formations do with the cannon. You're the one who can fly. Uh, game works. The one thing I never liked about this game is how long the stages are. But, uh, I just want to get to the end of it. For, I don't know. Feel free to stop watching at any point. Uh, Sonic... Disagrees. Uh, but what was I saying? Other games that work. Wind Waker works fine. Uh, I've also tried some PC games. Uh, Duke Nukem Forever works pretty well. Not that anyone ever cared. I, okay, Knuckles, thanks. I think he was just moonwalk- what's Knuckles doing? I don't, I don't know what he's doing anymore. But, uh, Duke Nukem Forever, with all the settings on low, uh, runs at about 30 frames per second, so I would consider that playable. I might make another video on that, but I honestly don't think enough people care. Uh, oh, and, uh, this works. I don't know why it wouldn't. Uh, camera buttons work. You can tilt the camera around. You can even use the, uh, second analog stick for it. Uh, and then stuff like that happens. Uh, and then I can get a terrible rank on this stage. Uh, so hopefully that didn't look and sound too bad, but the, the whole point of this is that the game does, in fact, work. Uh, it takes a little bit of setup to do, uh, and uh, it also, there's a chance it could mess up the icons on your desktop, uh, depending on how many you have and how it's arranged. 
Uh, probably, I'd say, only if you, like, reset your system while it's still in this low resolution, because you'll have to do the same, uh, click on the thing, set it back to, uh, the highest one, 720p, uh, 1200 by 720 uh, but as you can see, this game does work. Uh, as well as a lot of other games. Most older games that are like XP spec will run perfectly fine. Uh, with the exception of a lot of full screen issues. Uh, but most of them you can get around like this, if you're willing to do that. Uh, but yeah. This is Sonic Heroes on the, uh, the Gamepad win. Gamepad Digital win.